G'day everyone, and welcome back to another video. Now you all usually see the successful sessions, the ones where I go out, catch a bunch of fish, and all goes to plan. However, this week played out a little differently. The weather was not on my side at all, as we had lots, and I mean lots, of rain. <laughs> like they say, there is always light at the end of the tunnel, and that brings us to today. Okay, enough chit chat, let's get into the video. Well this is just awesome. Probably chuck my glasses on. Four inch hot prawn in that oil color with a one sixth jig head. This is the area where I got my 89 centimeter flathead. So we're back and I'm gonna use this bigger hot prawn to see if there's any more around. It's my first time using these lures. I've seen a bunch of people recommend them over on Instagram. So I thought I'd grab a couple, test them out and see what the hype's about. I don't exactly know how to use these either. So I'm kind of just gonna make up my own technique. Like some skipping prawn. Go flick, 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 and a little wind. This lure has probably some of the craziest legs you'll ever see on a lure. I'll put some underwater action on the screen right now. But it really does look like a fleeing prawn. Ripper. Oh yeah. Yep. Little flatty, I think. Yeah, he's very little. So that was on the slow roll. Those little legs doing all the action. Only a little dude, not even pulling drag. But that is my first fish on the Holt Prawn. Well, there you go. First fish on the Holt Prawn. He's made an absolute mess rolling in the seaweed, but four inch Holt Prawn down the hatch. It's really nice to finally get onto a fish after many, many failed sessions. Rainy, windy weather. It's still pretty rainy today. It was supposed to blow around 50 knots. It's definitely not that windy, but first fish on the Holt Prawn, four inch oil color. We've had me out of the water for a little bit of time, so let's get that hook out and we'll get him back. There we go. Probably around that, oh, I'd say 35 mark. Pushing legal. Catch you, dude. Oh, he's off like a bullet, no hesitation. Right, just reposition that GoPro so it's sitting up a little bit higher. So you get better view of the action. Yep, there's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> Gotta jump down. Yeah, another little flatty. <laughs> He smacked that right next to the log. This one's a little bit better. Still a small fella though. I'm getting them with a really good pin actually. It's pinning them just in the top of the lip, which is exactly where you want it for flathead. <clears throat> Lift him up. Oh, that's a much better one. Wouldn't say a giant. Definitely a better fish. Another flathead on the Holt Prawn, eh? Four inch. That one's a little bit better. He's more like 38, 39. I'm getting them with a really good pin today. Look at that, right in the top of the lip. Please don't, please don't skits. That guy right there is so fired up. Look at that. Spines are up and everything. But get a load of that beautiful tail. That black and blue spot. Really nice dusky flooded. Take it on the Holt Prawn. Easy to get out when they're pinned in the top. So let's get him back. It's gonna be pretty hard to do water releases at the moment because it's really overcast and the water's pretty dirty, but Slide off like a slippery dip, mate. And he's out of here. Second cast and still no damage. 
It's a really like solid kind of lure, which would make you think it would break a lot easier. But no, it's in perfect condition still. I know they're only little fish, but flathead have really sharp teeth. So on your usual lure, that would have done a little bit of damage by now. We gave this spot a really good go, but that wind has slowly started to pick up. And it's super cold as well. Although it's a nor'wester, it's still pretty cold. So we're going to head over to the other side. You guys can't see that, but way over there, it's really glassy. Because it's a nor'wester, those trees are blocking it. We're going to head over there, give it a go, and hopefully get onto a few more. No, you got to come down here. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, dude. Nah. Did you want it? We can give it a quick go. Nah. Do you want to have a quick flick? Nah. All right, we're having a quick flick before we go up. Nah. Looks too good, although it's pretty windy. Keen, keen. But did you know when you say, here fishy fishy, you actually get a fish? Here fishy fishy. Yeah. Here, fishy, fishy. So you got to do, okay. <laughs> no, surely not, dude. Fishy, fishy. Surely not. Now I'm gonna get him over the Did that just happen? Yeah. Nice little flatty here, caught on the hurricane chubby. A little here, fishy, fishy works. Yeah, absolutely destroyed my finger, but there we go. All right, we are actually going to the next spot now. Had a little flick, John got something on the here, fishy fishy, the classic. And I've gone down the wrong street, dude. Wrong street! <laughs> oh, he's gonna hate me. Anyways, we're actually heading on to the next spot now. We've hopped back in the car. It's only like a two minute drive around the corner. It's just out of the wind, so we'll get over there and get back into it, eh? It's not just rainy, it's cold wind. Isn't it supposed to be northwest? Yeah. Well, what's this? I know. Bit of a tuna lunch break. Wait for that damn rain to go. It was nice earlier, now it's coming up pretty sh That rain slowed down a bit, so we're making the best of it. I mean, we're out here now. Oh, that looks so clean. Yeah, dude, this is good. I reckon I'm gonna stick with the four inch still. I've, I've noticed one thing. It's slowly starting to come a little bit forward on that hook. So I reckon one to two more fish, and this lure is probably buckus. A lot of snags though. This place has more snags than a Bunnings barbecue on steroids. A little bit more like in-depth talk on how you work this lure. Like I said, I don't exactly know how to work it, but this seems to be working for me at the moment. I'm just letting it hit the bottom, and I'm doing like three, two or three sharp flicks. Just making it look like a prawn, darting up off the bottom. This thing also has crazy little legs on it that look really realistic. So that's why I'm adding a little wind at the end and I just got a good bump. Probably a tailor because he just hit it like three times. So as I was saying, that's why I'm doing that slow wind at the end. Because those legs have a really nice action. Which should hopefully grab the fish's attention if the flicks don't. I'm now going to go with the three inch halt prawn. I've already got one rigged on, but that's the colour we're using. White spot prawn, or we're using, I'm using, sorry. If you're wondering why there's two out of six lures here, I've got one on my rod and one I snapped off to. I snapped off to a fish, so I'll roll that footage right now. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, nice, Rocky. Yes, dude. On the halt prawn, finally. Oh, it's probably a tailor. Oh, it's probably a tailor. I'm seeing a lot of silver. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's a big tailor, I think. Should be a good green. Or is it tailor? Yeah, he snapped me as well. Three inch prawny prawn. And that one's rigged up on a one sixth TT Lewis jig head. And I'm actually gonna rub a little bit of scent just to encourage the bite, just that little bit more. Like I said earlier, coming into winter, it's nice to have just a little bit more of an advantage on your lure. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this Squidgy's S Factor. Just gonna rub that all around the top of the lure. I wanna encourage the fish to bite around the top. So I'm gonna keep it around the top. Apply a good amount. And she's ready to go. John's just stomped a monster of some sort. It's alright, you've got him well hooked. Oh, I just heard my line go tink. Nice little brimbo caught on the two and a half inch Z-Man grub in the blood worm colour. Not bad. We're gonna get a water release.
it's a very bad spot to stand but there's a really deep hole just here oh i'm on <laughs> very little that was on the drop yeah mate it's been a couple of hours finally yep come in flatty up on the rocks you come there's that little halt prawn in the side of the mouth one's a little bit better actually super super speckly it's come off a sandy rocky bottom and he's absolutely stunning all right first things first let's get that hook out just like that this guy right here is super green super fired up i'll chuck him on the measure mat he's not an absolute giant but he's definitely bigger than the ones we've caught today not a giant like i said it's gonna go 44. He just went so ham on my finger. Show it up. <sighs> Absolutely destroyed my finger. That's why I don't look at him. And now he's just sitting there happy that he's just done that to my finger. That's an holy dude. He's not even that big. He's just chilling. He's caused absolute damage to my thumb. Oh, he's not well, bro. Oh no, never mind, he's more than well. <laughs> Just trying to get a better angle over here that, at the... A bit. Yep. That's a better one as well. A lot larger head shakes. You don't have your net, do you? You don't have your net, do you? He <laughs> feels all right, dude. Oh, that's a boy. Yeah. 70? I'm going really light. Out of any time my GoPro could have run out of battery, it ran out in this moment. Big flatty on the Holt Production Swim Prawn. That's a three inch one as well. All right, we're gonna get it on the measure, get a couple photos, a close up, and we'll get it back. Well, how was that for an unexpected turn? Just flicking these flats before we head off home. And that right there is a massive flathead taking on that whole production swim prawn did not expect that eight pound leader very risky but we're going to get it on the measure mat get a couple of photos it's a big girl so we'll get her back as fast as we can lures out let's give it a measure it's gonna go 70. that is 66 centimeters all right we've had her in the water for quite some time we're going to take take her out a little bit deeper and get a water release how's that 66 centimeters i think it went beautiful beautiful fish beautiful colors and a great fight water release time probably the dodgiest release in history Woo! we got it done 66 centimeters it's absolutely freezing cold it's slowly starting to rain and it's super windy, so we're going to head out of here. Wow, boy is it nice to be back in the car. What a very, very successful session we had today. We started off the day fishing that first sand flat. Didn't have the highest, highest hopes in mind, but managed to get onto a few. We decided to move locations to get out of the wind, which wasn't really the case because the wind actually picked up more, came around the corner, 
and ended up being windy everywhere. Regardless of the wind, we decided to push on and just fish the spots. It was super cold and super wet, but we managed to get onto a few. We arrived at this last location, which I've actually been to in a previous video, and I've had high, high hopes that we would get onto a few flooded. Didn't expect one of that size though, 66 centimeters. That just absolutely made my day and tops it off. Oh, almost forgot to mention the lures that I was using. <laughs> that four inch halt prawn in the oil color. Works an absolute treat. And that last one that we're flicking that little flat is the three inch halt prawn in the white spot. It was their most popular color on the website and I've seen a whole bunch of people catching on them. So I decided to pick up a couple and well, they definitely don't disappoint. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, leave a like and comment below. Subscribe if you're new and you'd like to see more content from me. Chuck my Instagram up on the screen right here. It's just josh.fishing.oz. I'm about to turn this car on, blast the heater and head off home. Appreciate you all for watching and sticking around to the end. And I'll catch us in the next one, legends. You.